What's Good, decided to give you an update on the upcoming promos in Madden 16. Team of the Week just dropped. Here's actually the team offense we run and the defense we run with. In the video, we're going to be building basically the lineup and also showing the Team of the Week. Slightly disappointing, I mean, Tyler Lockett's at 91, but some of the cards aren't too bad. Very pricey as you expect, it took forever to drop. And some people have so many cards, like Geno Atkins has like 37 cards. I mean, Russell Wilson just got a card, so eh, it was all right. The team of the year is supposed to be one of the biggest market crashes of the year since there's quality players at each position. And once they're on the market, people get them in bundles. You'll see this, your cards you just had are lower overall, so you should be able to get them at a lower price. I'm not sure if that's actually gonna happen, but it means you can still snipe cards. Right now, we're just looking at cards by each position. First, we're looking at 90 to 94, looking at prices. This was before Team of the Year, so the prices aren't as accurate as they probably would be, but the same concept still applies. You're still looking for snipes. You can still flip these cards. A good thing is there's going to be so much content dropped in the next four weeks that there's going to be cards of 95 all over the map. So the next content drop should be February 1st. Actually, next Monday, it's going to be the Super Bowl content. With this, there's going to be eight players from 97 to 99. Last year, there was Tracy Porter, they had Jimmy Harrison, Dion Branch, John Elway, 99. So you're going to see the first glimpse of those really high elite cards. And there's also 20 Super Bowl players. There were 10 from each team. So these are a lot of the golds who hasn't got upgrades through the year, such as they had Patty Chung, they had Julian Edelman, Shane Vereen. Some of them were actually elites as well. So there's going to be a lot of content in uh, probably on Monday with the Panthers as well as the Broncos. And don't worry, my boy Cam is going to get the nicest card coming out since he's destroying the league, but not yet. In addition to all the new players for the Super Bowl release, there was 50 coin-ups last year, which is absolutely unreal. With these, you can do gold moments where you got collectibles from packs and you put it to get a specific collectible. So some of these, you could earn a ton of coins, some of them didn't run. But at the same time, they made the auction house a lot different because people were trying to trade and get all these coin-ups so they can earn the specified number of coins. So watch out, there's gonna be 50 coin-ups for the Super Bowl. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So that's definitely should be coming out next Monday. February 8th is the Tuesday after the Super Bowl and it looks like they're gonna be starting NFL honors. That's gonna also bring us a lot of good cards. Last year they had Thomas Davis as well as a Gronk, Rob Gronkowski. These cards were 24 hours and these cards were absolutely ridiculous. 98 and also a 98. Those cards were very hard to get and there are two players in each position so they release them two at a time, available in packs for 24 hours. So those will also be released and they're released for a few days over time. Next we have Ultimate Legends and that should drop around Saturday, February 13th. Last year it dropped a Saturday right after the Super Bowl and this basically broke the game. So they made up a 24 hour Michael Vick which had 100 speed. So basically unreal, impossible to buy, impossible to ever get your hands on. That was the boss version. There's also an Ultimate Legend Edition, a Speed Edition, which his stats were all 75 but 99 speed, a Power Edition, all 75 but 100 throw power, an Accuracy Edition, same deal, with just very accurate but very slow, and they also made a Mike Webster, which was the center for the Steelers. So these cards, they released them every Saturday, and they took forever if you want to actually make them. Kind of remind me of making Dion, man, but it, it's a lot of work to make them. So those came out the Saturday after the Super Bowl. Last year, the market crashed when this card came out. Since, everyone's trying to pull that Vic, and they don't want any other type of card. So every elite they're getting in packs, they're putting on the auction block. So it's good to snipe during this time. This weekend, that weekend should be huge. You can definitely find a lot of cards for cheat and flip them, flip them, flip them. The beginning of the all rookie team should start Sunday, February 14th. And these cards were very good. All gonna be over 88s. Trey Mason had the highest one last year, which was a 93. 
Anthony Barr finally got a good card. And each week they released a few players on the odd rookie team. So this didn't affect the market too much because they're not all 95, 96, 97s. But just kept the game cool. If you like one of the rookies in the league and they had a good year, they're going to get a solid card. So you could cop it then. Position heroes should drop Monday, February 15th. These were weekly and these were opportunity to get the 99 card, which is basically the best card in the game and also one of the most difficult to complete. Last year they had a Harrison Smith and Josh Sitton, but it took 60 different items to make that card. So it took weeks to make them. Very difficult to get, but one of the best cards in the game for sure. You could try to snipe different items for each one of these, which was out. I would recommend that. You just go to open the setup and then you click L1 and that'll bring you that specific item. That's gonna be your best bet to snipe some of the things in here and try to sell them quickly for a profit. Next, just two days later, should drop on Wednesday, February 17th, is the final edition card. They drop a few of these weekly, one of them being probably 95, 96, and then four being under that rating. These were underrated players who had a very good season. Last year drops a 95 Alshon Jeffrey. You had to make the set to complete him, so you definitely could snipe the players in the set. You need a collectible. So they drop one of these per week, and it's probably gonna be on each Wednesday. This didn't affect the market too much, but the best thing to do is snipe those collectibles there. Or if you want the player, go out and grab them. Friday, February 19th, they should start to release the Combine Warriors. Last year they had a 95 and Darren McFadden. And the best part was his injury rating was pretty high, which is very realistic, EA. Anyways, this set you had to also complete and get specific items for it. You needed five collectibles, which could be pulled from packs. Here you could obviously snipe those collectibles. This card didn't affect the market too much, but it was cool they released one every Friday until the draft. It keeps the draft hype, draft hype and it makes the game much more enjoyable. As you can see, there's a lot of content coming out in the next four to five weeks in Mutt. So don't worry if your team sucks now because there's gonna be so many good cards released that you can either keep on your team or you could just keep flipping cards until you could build the team you want. Keep in mind, what I try to do is I try to just play either DC or do solos until I feel like the team is ready to go online. Since I don't like to lose, it's not fun. And I feel like some cards people have, they spend so much money on the game. I feel it's an unfair matchup when I play them because I don't spend money on the game. We just get the free packs and everything like that. Yeah, so that's a quick update on what's happening in the future. If you enjoyed this video or if the video was helpful, please leave a like. Also, comment below if you're excited for one of the promos. Whatever, keep it real. And once again, thank you for watching. See you in the next vid and have a good one.